Half lap joints are a simple joint in that you're only removing half the material from each piece and they just overlap with each other. But it's also a very strong joint and it, may, it makes its appearance in a lot of different types of woodworking projects. Everything from frames to small tables. Marking and measuring, laying this out is very simple. You're basically just having to capture what half the width of each piece of wood is, where they overlap, mark those out, and then remove the material. We're going to be using a dado set. It's a built up thick blade in the saw. So we've built up a thickness of about three quarters of an inch in there. We have a lot of material to chunk out of our pieces though, so we're gonna to have to take successive passes over this blade in order to remove you know, this wide piece of material. So, first step in removing these is to set up a stop block to help us start and stop on the same place um, on each of these pieces. And what we're gonna be doing is starting um, on the shoulder line here of the, of the um, of the half lap. So I'm going to line up my line with that shoulder line, set up a stop block to capture the position of this piece of wood. So I can do this two times or 200 times and it will always be exactly the same. But of course the first thing we have to do is set the blade height correctly. So let's do that. So we can use our pencil line that we've marked to mark out this joinery as our guide. And I'll just lower the blade down to where right about at that line, a little bit below, just to be safe. Okay, we've got the height set up, now let's set up the stop block. The stop block is a piece of wood that sits on the rip fence, and it's gonna sit back here behind where we're making the cut, so we're not jamming the wood up between the fence and the blade when we make the cut. So it'll be back here and then we'll leave it behind. But in order to set it up, we do need to bring it up here. So we can look, line up the blade. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm lining up my pencil mark with the outside edge of the saw blade. So the blade is completely inside the part I'm cutting. Okay, now with that in place, I'm just gonna nudge the fence over a little bit. So we got a, our position for the stop block locked in. I'll lock the fence. And now I can bring the stop block back here where it's a safe place to put it and lock it in place. There we go, all right, that's set. Now we're ready to go. material removed from both sides we can test our fit and then just glue it up clamp it and you're done